So this is supposed to be a a really sweet game about enjoying the little things in life and appreciating them. Um, and it, I just I like the art style so much that I just wanted to play it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> it's time to wake up, dog. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool. Oh, see, the art style's so nice. Mmm. Ah. This, this certainly isn't a normal morning face wash. Beo is desperately trying to help me wake up with an excessive amount of, of slobbery kisses, but I appreciate his morning call. But the safe warm haven of my bed and blankets, I really don't want to get out of bed. I feel like I could give myself a few more minutes before I can get up. Literally no one can stop me. But these days it's been getting more difficult to do anything, really. It's hard to find the strength to do what I need to do and the days are starting to blur together. But I guess Bao wants me to face the day, huh? Sometimes I wonder what I'd do without him. I really do take him for granted, but I shouldn't. Maybe I should learn to cherish my surroundings more. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to be grateful for. What else should I appreciate more? Uh, you should definitely appreciate the dog. Running my hands through Bale's fair fur feels like touching silk. Though I keep finding myself falling asleep whenever we cuddle in the morning, he won't let me hit snooze. He's a good boy and he knows what's good for me. I just wish we could lie here until the day is over. What do I like about Bao? His childhood best friend. His cutest, softest, most huggable dog in the world. He's always been there to cheer me up. He's always been there. Oh, Good boy, Ban Bao. Aww. Oof. I think I said that right. It's been a while since I've changed the mattress covers. I guess I should wash my duvet once in a while. But it's not that bad, I think. I really have created a castle with my bed, though. I don't have my favorite blankets, pillows, and plushie here with me for nothing. What do I like about my bed? Uh, the plushies and good and uh, cushions add to the coziness of my room. It's just really comfortable. The covers remind me of my old house. Oh. I think it should. The covers remind me of the old house. Oh, I don't want to get out of bed. It's been a while since I've changed the mattress covers, and I guess I should wash my duvet once in a while. Oh, it's all... Okay. Uh... Balcony, studio light... Laptop? Uh... Plant? Plushy Balcony. I'm glad that Junie and I got those new curtains for my balcony. The light melts through the pink satin curtains and it feels just like I could get used to waking up in the morning to see it glow. Maybe after I get up I'll stand out on the balcony a bit to soak in the sun for once. What do I like about my balcony? It's a great place to unwind with friends and drinks, beautiful view of the skitty city, uh, city skyline, fresh breeze that it brings in. It's a beautiful view. It looks really nice. The sunrise is so pretty. Do these things make me happy? Yeah, of course. The thing is, nowadays I'm here the majority of the time, but I've never really taken the time to look at the things I own. Let alone the time to appreciate them thoughtfully. Beo has always been there for me when I'm at my lowest. He'll usually lick my face when he's concerned. When I feel lost, he's always there to remind me of what's important. It's silly to admit, but I really appreciate my bed. Whenever I manage to convince myself to make the bed, seeing the cushions all neat and tidy sets the mood for the day. I've heard that that's, like, really, really good for you. Um, if you get into a habit of, like, making your bed more often, it puts you in the mood for, like, getting ready for the day. It tells your body that, hey, you're, you're good to come home to a nice comfy place because you made your bed 
that's I've I've just heard that from so many people, and I've never I've never really done it. As you can see behind me, my bed is not made, so I yeah, it's just one of those things I I've never gotten into, but I really should. The balcony's view of the city is stunning, both during the day and night. When I look out the window, I'm always in awe. The city brings me so much inspiration. I honestly, I used to, my last apartment that I was in was a really, really, like, nice view. I, I wasn't on the top floor or anything. I was actually in the, like, basement portion. But it was, like, looking out into the, like, to the lake. Because I was, like, face towards the lake and stuff like that that uh I, I can't even remember what the lake is called but basically there was like a whole view of the lake outside of my window and it was really really nice it was very like nice and serene to, to watch i don't like the idea of taking things for granted so it's nice to have moments to be thoughtful every once in a while everything here is a little part of me and i guess i was slipping away from that in a way this helps me motivate me to start my jay bleh Junie will be going back home later, so I should finish up work early today and hang with her tonight. Alright, let's get to work. Oh, hey. Hey, you. Oh, hey. How's your day been? Pretty okay. Just finished work. Why are you sitting under the kotatsu with sweatpants on? Aren't you hot? It's comfy. You know, how, like, you can't sleep at night without having a blanket on you no matter how hot it is? very untrue i sleep without my blanket usually i i usually use my blanket just to have something to like wrap my arms around and then because i don't have like a body pillow or anything like that but during the middle of the night i find myself unfolding the blanket and putting it over me and then like immediately regretting it when i wake up in the morning because yeah it does get hot I guess? And how are you so sure uh, I have sweatpants on under there? You've only been wearing sweatpants for the entire year. <laughs> Our conversations always go like this. Silly little quarrels that don't actually go anywhere. But it's always fun when we tease each other. Even though we don't really do much lately, just Juniper's presence alone puts me at ease. Looking around our living room, the home we made for ourselves, I start to see the little things that make us who we are. I also just want to take a moment to soak them in as well. Okay, so wait, I'm very confused. Is Juniper our like significant other? Is that what I'm understanding? I love her. I'm glad I get to live with Junie. She's practically the best roommate anyone can ask for. Okay, she's just a roommate. Even though she's a lot more adventurous and likes outdoorsy, they were roommates. I appreciate when we sit together here and just vibe. Why are you still standing there? Come sit down. Shush, I'm thinking here. What are you thinking about that requires you to stand? Be quiet and eat your oranges. What do I like about Juniper? She's been my friend. Our apartment won't feel the same without her. She encouraged me to always do my best. Oh, that's cute. Um, did you just take a picture of me? Do I have something on my face? Um. Bookshelf. Oh, bookshelf. You gotta love the bookshelf. Love the bookshelf. You could call it a bookshelf? This is where Junie and I leave a bunch of things we like. Everything here merges both of our interests together and is mainly the reason why we hang out here so much. What do I like about the bookshelf? From games to books and figurines, they hold our favorites. Junie and I picked it out together. It was small enough to fit the room. More for the shelf, there would be a lot more clutter. I think it was this. I love you, Miss Miku. Oh my god. Hatsune Miku. Gotta love the plants. Hey, they really make the space feel more comfortable. Junie mainly takes care of them because I forget almost all the time. Although the collection grows, I'm not sure if we'll have enough space, but to see them happy and green makes it worth it. What do I like about the plants? Some of these were a moving gift from the family. They liven up the place as they grow. It reminds me of how much I've grown. They liven up the place. This summer has been rough. I should give them more water. Do these things make me happy? Yeah, of course. It's nice to see parts of ourselves all over the apartment. I guess so. This place is the best of both our worlds. I don't think I would have half the stuff I have here in the living room back at my old house. Having it all here makes it all that much more special. 
A big part of our cozy home is you. Honestly, with you, it feels like I can get anything done. I'm really glad I get to hang out with you here. It's the same with the bookshelf. It holds everything dear to us. It's mostly my stuff, though. The only things that are yours are the books. What a nerd. Mm-hmm. Whatever helps you sleep at night. I'm not great at taking care of them, but the plant gives, uh, the plants give the place so much life. It's like having our own little garden. Yeah, it's like our personal little collection. Keeping us close to nature, huh? And you know, even though we're so different, there's so much here that really makes this place special. The place wouldn't be the same without you. Aw, Melody. I enjoy living here with you, too. I'm really grateful I found this place with you. Same. I don't know how long I would have survived being here by myself. What do you mean? Bale is right here. Oh, you're right. You can get out now. Dang. Oh, look at the time. Guess I gotta go now, then. Oh, no, don't go. Bale didn't mean it. No, I mean, I have to get ready to go now. I'm heading back home for the week, remember? Oh, yeah, right. We can have movie night when I get back. Sorry again for the last minute plans. You know how my family is. Yeah, no worries. Be safe. Don't forget your mask. Of course. Call me if you need anything, okay? See ya. I guess I have the apartment to myself again. It's looking forward to a movie night, but I guess I can just do something else in the meantime. Maybe I'll prepare dinner, or clean my room for once. I could also work on any other projects I didn't have time for. I'm done with work for now. I'll just lay down for a bit and then go take a shower. Or something. Sigh. Oh. Hey, Bell. Always here to cheer me up, huh? Thought I was doing okay, but once Junie left the apartment, I think things started to go downhill. It's been, what, like a few hours since Junie left? This is kind of pathetic. I've just been trying really hard to feel better about myself. I guess my last ditch effort was sitting here, on the floor. I felt like I was really doing something to help with my mood and block out the worry I had. But there's always this pit in my stomach. It just makes me want to cry. What do I do from here? Bao is nudging and nuzzling my face, trying to comfort me. Good boy, Bao. Woof. Aw. Big woof. Big woofer. It's a beautiful night. A dark sky lit with shimmering city lights? I guess. Sometimes I need to spend more time alone admiring the scenery. Why am I here? What am I doing? I remember nights as a kid when everything was simpler. Everyone is in their own apartment lighting up the city. If it wasn't for the city lights, I think I would be sitting in the dark. No. It's embarrassing to think someone could see me cry through the window. Notes. Junie usually likes to write reminders on the fridge for me. It's... It's honestly so considerate of her. And yet I feel terrible that I'm the only one thinking of myself and rarely doing anything for her. I'm so caught up in my own problems that I keep forgetting to check on her. Do we have communication problems? It's been a while since we've written to each other here. Most of them of mine are so clingy. Junie does this so I don't fall apart. I think we're drifting apart. Am I a burden? Aww. That's really not okay. Don't think like that. What do I... What else is there? There's not a whole lot that I can really look at. Ice cream. Nothing's changed. Even from back home, I'd hide in my room with a tub and cry into it. I keep thinking it'll make me feel better. Though it doesn't always work and I feel worse. Do I even deserve to eat this right now? It's like I always come back to this moment. If not for ice cream, any comfort food will do. I didn't even buy this. Julie might, Junie might get mad at me. If I don't buy another one, she'll know it's missing. It's already melting into a puddle. Do these things ever make me happy? Yeah, of course. Everything sucks right now, but... Maybe I can keep thinking positively. I just... I just have to reflect on the things that make me happy again. Maybe like... Oh. Hello? Hey. Hi, Junie. Want to call because you seemed really down right before I left. Just wanted to check in on you. I know I literally just left, but... Are you okay? 
I... I just feel like shit. It's just so hard to stay positive sometimes. Spend all day trying to appreciate everything and I still just... Hey, it's okay. You always work hard and rarely give yourself a break. I know you're dealing with a lot of stuff. I think I need to spend more time with people. I can't always bother you and feel empty when you leave. Staying in this apartment, I love it so much, but it's been slowly draining me. But everyone is in the same position. Everyone is in the dumps. Do you want me to come over? No, it's okay. I can always come visit when you need, Melody. You're my best friend and I'll come for you no matter what. Thank you, Junie. I really do appreciate it. You're patient with me and always make sure I'm doing okay. Same with you. Honestly, with you, it feels like I can get anything done. You helped me with so many things and been so supportive, but yet you don't even know it. I really appreciate you. So don't worry about the small things. I know everything is hard right now, but that just means that we have to take care of each other even more than before, right? Right. Everything will be okay. I'll always be here for you. I love you, Junie. Aw, I love you too, Mel. I'll bring some food and snacks for you when I get home. I'll see you soon, okay? Alright, see ya. Just hang in there, okay? Aww. Aww. That was really sweet. That was really, really sweet. It's... I... I don't know. There's, there's so much that I could say about this, but... I, I think the game kind of spoke for itself. It's it's really hard to appreciate little things, um, especially when you're down in the dumps. So, I mean, give yourself a break sometimes and, and really just try to appreciate what you can while you can. And, you know, know that other people will always be there for you. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much the message here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to play this for yourself, it's down in the description below. You can go and check it out and check out the developer. Um, it's a really, really great game. Honestly, just really, really cool. I'm kind of curious about the other choices, if they would have made any sort of difference at all. Um, but regardless, I, I really had fun. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.